Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm showing you how to do a really fast triangle scarf. It's gonna be super cuddly in the end. And for that I used my 9mm needle. The wool I'll show you in a moment. We're gonna be doing just some singles and some chains, so this will be also really great for beginners and for some practice. So if you'd like to see how you can do this, stay tuned. So here is one of my favorite yarns. Here is Carpi in a lovely mint and silver shade. So super cuddly, one wool or one spool will yield one scarf. In my case, a triangle shaped one. So yeah, the color that I have is called mint and silver. And let's see other details. So this is for 5.5 to 6.5 millimeter needles, but I'll use a little bit bigger one. So here is my 9 millimeter one. It's going to be pretty loose today. We have 78% acrylic, 22% wool, 150 grams and 285 meters or 5.3 ounces and 312 yards. And yeah, the colors are awesome. So let me get that really quick. Here it is. So let's get started. I'm doing a magic ring first, so I'll show you how to do that. I'm taking my yarn like this and going around my fingers, through the middle and the thread goes up, fingers go out and then we get our ring. As well as a loop on our needle if we take the thread through it. So then we have our first chain and we can of course adjust the size of our ring by pulling the thread. So when I pull it, the ring gets bigger. So let's get started. Of course, we can pull it apart by pulling the beginning thread out. So that's one way. So be careful not to do that. Okay, so I did one chain already and I'll do two more. So that's my height that I need and now let's do a single crochet. So we go through the ring and we take the thread through. Another chain and again a single. Okay, so we have three chains, one single, one chain and another single. And that's the first side of my little triangle. So next come two chains for the point of my triangle and now I'll go back the same way. I'll pull the ring a bit so that it's smaller. So let's again do a single, a chain and a single. Chain again, so on each side is two singles and a chain in between. Two chains build the top point and here is again a chain after our single and at the beginning we did three chains, but this time instead of those we will do one half treble crochet. Row one is done, so let's pull our magic ring tight. And here is our triangle. Okay, so we're starting with three chains and we turn. And you can already see our first starting spot. So the chain that we did in the last row, we go through and do a single. Then we do a chain and then comes the second single. Around the next chain that we have. And end with another chain. Here is our point. So here we're gonna do a single, then two chains, 
and around the same spot. So around the two chains again, we do a single. So that's what we get. We get a single, two chains and a single. After that comes another single from the last row. We do a chain and then another single and another chain. And then here we have the three chains we started with. So through there we do a single and a chain and we end with another half treble crochet. And here is our triangle. So you see the singles here, one, two, three, and on the other side, one, two, three, on this side, and the chains on the beginning and the half treble at the end. And there are no surprises from this point on, so we again do three chains for the height and we turn. Then we do a single crochet, a chain, between the singles around the existing chain goes always a single and is followed by a chain and then into the next spot you do the same thing. And I'm again, so after three singles and the chains of course at my point. So we do a single, two chains, another single, always through the same spot, and then other side the same as the one we already did. Fourth single one and the half treble at the end. Row three is done. So you see that it's super simple and because I'm using this big needle, we get results really fast. So it's super fluffy and you can tell right away. So I'll do a little bit more and then I'll show you what I have. So here is a little update. So you see here the pattern and texture as well as the colors. So this is still just one spool and I think it looks really pretty and you could notice how fast we got our results. So this is not a long project. So I'll now finish my spool and I'll show you what I have. So I'm almost at the end of my spool. So this is not enough for a whole another row. So I'm ending it here and I can show you the point that I have. So here is the half treble done here. So let's shorten the thread. Pull it out. And pull tight. Now this we need to weave in as well as the beginning thread. So it's super cool, just those two because this pool is really huge. So that's a really cool thing about it. Here from the beginning you see the main side that develops on the left and the right. Um, and here are the points where I did two chains with a single on each side. So this type of scarf with this type of wool is going to keep you really warm and it's also super cuddly when you have it around your neck, so really great. The longer side is 150 centimeters of length in my case and you can see the color gradient really nicely now. So the silvery gray and the minty shade. So we have a total of three minty stripes and four gray sections. So of course. Um, these stripes are getting kind of smaller because they are getting longer at the same time. So that's how we get this change happening. I think it looks really good and it's going to look really good when you wear it too. So that's the whole scarf. It's great for colder days. It will definitely keep you warm. And I hope you guys enjoy the project. 
If you did, feel free to shoot us a comment below the video. You can also let us know that you enjoyed by shooting us a nice thumb up. And you can also subscribe to our channel and that way stay updated with all of our videos that we post. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!